Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my November and December Marked As To Read video. So I didn't end up posting a Marked As To Read video in November, partly because I was just kind of all over the place with my uploads over the last couple of months, but also because by some miracle, well not really a miracle, but just I don't know how this happened, I only marked five books as to read in November. I don't think I've ever marked that few books um, as to read like ever in a month, but somehow that happened in November. However, in December, I think I marked about 11 or 12 books as to read. So I do have a fair number of books to talk to you guys about in this video. So let's jump straight in and talk about all of the books that I marked as to read on Goodreads, where I heard about them, what they're about, why I was intrigued about them. So let's jump in and talk about them. So starting off with the books that I marked as to read in November, first off we have The Other Twin by L.V. Hay. This is a book that I first heard Carrie Ann from over at Woman vs. Books mention on her channel. Well, I think I first heard. I think she's the only person I heard talk about it, but it's a thriller. You guys know I love thrillers and she had positive things to say about it. This one's got a fairly tropey thriller um, synopsis, but you guys know that that never bothers me. This one is about... Um, a girl whose twin sister has committed suicide. However, she doesn't believe that it was suicide. She believes that something's happened. She's been murdered. And so it's just all about that. Like I said, tropey synopsis. That doesn't bother me. The next book that I marked us to read is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. So obviously... I marked this one as to read based purely off the author. You guys know that I read The Night Circus um, towards the end of 2018 and I loved it. I was then looking to just see whether there was any news about a newer release from Erin Morgenstern because this book, um, sorry, The Night Circus was published back in 2012 and we haven't seen anything about a new book. I went on to Goodreads and saw this. I somehow haven't heard anyone talk about um, this um, release coming out it's sometime in 2019, I believe. But... I am so excited for it because I just loved The Night Circus and the thing that I loved the most about The Night Circus was Erin Morgenstern's writing. You guys, oh, I'm just so excited to read this book. It's a fantasy magical realism type book, I believe, in, you know, the vein of The Night Circus, I assume. And all I really know is about it is it's about a guy who finds a, like, hidden um, library or he's in a library and he finds a hidden book and he's reading through the stories in the book when he discovers that one of the stories in the book is a story from his own childhood. That's all I really know. It's a vague synopsis but that's okay. I don't need to know too much about it. I'm just going to read it because it's an Erin Morgenstern book. Next I have a book that was recommended by um, Simon over at Savage Reads and that is The Rabbit Black Literature Society by, now I'm going to butcher this name, I apologize. It's Pasolamari Yaskelarinen. Oh, I know I butchered that. I apologize so deeply. Um, so this one, though, very intriguing plot. It's about a society, like a secret society of writers, and a new member joins into that society. And I think we'd probably follow the new member, and it's all about the weird rituals and, like, weird things going on amongst this, like, society of writers. I don't really know too much about it apart from that, but that sounds very, very intriguing. The next book that I marked us to read is one that I heard Peter from over at Peter Likes Books talk about. I think he talked about it quite a long time ago. It's The Dangerous Art of Blending In by Angelo um, Sumelis. This is a YA contemporary. It's an LGBT contemporary about a boy who... I think it's just like a coming-of-age like self-discovery novel, and he has recently kissed his male best friend, and it's about him kind of dealing with that and discovering his sexuality and things like that, I believe. Um, Peter had pretty positive things to say about it, and I'm always interested in coming-of-age stories, particularly when they have to do with LGBT themes. And the final book that I marked us to read in November was Disruption by Jessica Shervington. Um, this is a book that my friend Emma read, and she said that she thought I would probably really like it. It's a YA dystopian, and it's about a world where people have a microchip inserted into them that I think, I think it deals with lots of areas of their life, but in particular it tells you basically who your perfect match is, like who your, you know, soulmate or whatever is, and it's just, I don't know too much about it apart from the fact that it's set in that type of world. Sounds very intriguing. I'm sure it's going to be about overthrowing some kind of corrupt government because that's normally what dystopians have in them, but I'm interested in a world where microchips tell you your soulmate. Now moving on to the books that I marked as to read in the month of December. So first off, we have another one recommended by Simon from Savage Reads. This one is The Furies by Katie Lowe. Um, I believe this is a 2019 release. I haven't heard anyone else talk about it, but it sounds right up my alley. This one is a YA thriller, I think, about a girl who is found dead at a boarding school, like a private school. 
boarding school slash private school, dead girl, thriller, YA. I'm into all of those things. I just think this is going to be such a fun time. The next one I marked as to read is Becoming by Michelle Obama. I don't need to tell you guys why. Obviously, I am Australian, but I love the Obamas like most people do. I just think that they are great people and I find them so interesting. Um, and I am very interested in reading Michelle Obama's book. I've heard very positive things about it so far and I just came across it on Goodreads and realized I hadn't marked it as to read and it is one that I'm interested in, so I rectified that situation. Um, the next book I want to talk about is another one that I heard about on Simon's channel and that is Himself by Jess Kidd. This one is a literary fiction, I believe, and I think it's set, it's an Irish story and it's about a man who is trying to find... He's basically trying to find the birth mother who abandoned him when he was a baby. That's all I really know about it, but um, Simon had positive things to say about it, and I was very intrigued um, just from the things he said about it, so I decided to mark that one as to read. Next, we have a book that I just heard about on a Goodreads blog post for, like, books hitting shelves over the next seven days or something like that, and that is Before We Were Strangers by Brenda Novak. This one is a story about a little girl who hears her parents arguing, which is nothing new. They're arguing, and then she hears an ominous thump, and the next morning, her mother is gone. Her father tells her that her mother has abandoned them. And I think it's about her now as an adult trying to discover what happened to her mother. Did her father do something to her mother? So on and so forth. Sounds very intriguing. Uh, the next book that I want to talk about, I heard about on a Blackbird's Books channel. She recommended this as like a winter slash Christmas read. And it's called Portrait of a Murderer by Anne Meredith and this one is about it's a mystery like novel set at Christmas about I think the father of the family is murdered and it's one of his six children who did it um, and he's murdered on that like, Christmas Eve and it's just all about trying to discover which one did it I think and I'm always interested in those stories. Next I have a book that I heard about um, on Emma over at Drinking by My Shelf's channel and that is The Apartment by S.L. Gray. She just recommended this as like she just talked about it and it sounded like a really interesting psychological thriller. It's about a couple who have experienced a home invasion and they have been very traumatized by that experience as you would be. And they decide to go on vacation and they do this like house swap thing or it's like a, I don't know if it's exactly that they're swapping houses or if it's just an Airbnb type situation, but they get to this apartment that they're going to be staying in and it is not as advertised and I think everything just kind of kicks off from there like I said um, Emma just was really talking about all the like psychological kind of nuances in it and it just sounded very very interesting and like something that I would enjoy reading next I want to talk about what I like about me by Jenna I don't know how to pronounce her surname Gwilame Gwilame Gillamy I apologize now Jenna is um, a BuzzFeed writer in Australia. She is one of my favorites. She does this series of posts on BuzzFeed where she re-watches movies um, like that she enjoyed as a kid and like just, you know, does a commentary on them. And they are so hilarious. And I think Jenna and I are very similar ages and also we're both um, Australian. So I just relate to everything that she says in them and all of the movies that she re-watches are ones that I liked as a kid. And I just really, really enjoy those posts. And through reading all those BuzzFeed posts, I started to follow her on Twitter and all of those types of things. And I discovered that she is releasing a YA novel next year. And I do want to read it because I really want to support her and I am interested. I just, I, you know, relate to everything that she says on Twitter and all of those types of things. So I want to, want to give this book a go. It's a YA contemporary about a 16 year old fat character who I believe it's got something to do with a beauty pageant. Um, and it's also the thing that intrigued me the most about it is that it's got to do with the main character's best friend dating her crush which is something that speaks to me. Um, and I don't know, like I said, I just, I really want to read this book. I'm thinking that it's going to be a lot of fun. The next book I want to talk about is another one that I heard about in a Goodreads blog post originally. I think I've heard a few people talk about it since then, but I originally saw it on a Goodreads blog post. And that is This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher. This one is a YA thriller. Again, kind of a tropey synopsis, but you guys know I'm into that type of thing. It's a about, I think it's, a girl dies at a party and there are five characters who, or five people who were all involved in some way. And then it's, I think, like a year later and all five of these people have been invited by this mysterious invitation um, to, 
I don't know, a haunted, not a haunted house, but like to some mansion for something. I don't know. They've all been invited somewhere and it's all about discovering what went on that night where the person died, so on and so forth. Like I said, pretty tropey, but I'm intrigued. Um, the next book I want to talk about is one that I heard about on a podcast that I listened to. So I've talked about it quite a few times on my channel. I listened to a podcast called Buffering the Vampire Slayer. I adore it. There is now a um, spin-off podcast to that called Angel on Top following the Angel television series. And in that Angel on Top podcast, they interviewed um, a woman named, I think it was Sarah Durand. There's two people who authors, and I can't remember which one they spoke to because it's also by R.H. Davis, this book. But she is a non-denominational exorcist. I was so intrigued. So the book I'm talking about is Sister of Darkness, The Chronicles of a Modern Exorcist. And it's just a non-fiction novel all about her being a non-denominational exorcist and the different types of energy and demon type things that people carry with them and about all of that. It just sounds fascinating to me. Absolutely fascinating. It is definitely a book that I would like to read because I just think it would be so interesting. The next book I want to talk about is one that I heard about over on That's What She Read's channel. That is Bellwether Rhapsody by Kate Ras Rachulia? I'm terrible with names today, you guys. So this one is a YA mystery, and it's about a murder-suicide that went on at the Bur Bellwether Hotel in room 712, and there was a bridesmaid who witnessed this murder-suicide. And I think it's a couple of years later, and the bridesmaid, together with a hundreds of high school musicians, are all back at the hotel, like the bridesmaid's back, and the um, high schoolers are all staying there, and the ho um, hotel's supposed to be haunted. I'm sure it's about the bridesmaids trying to, you know, revisiting what went on. I think they get snowed in at the hotel. It just sounds like a good time. And it kind of gives me vibes of An Unwanted Guest by Shara Lepeña, which is a book that I loved in 2018. So I'm very excited to read that. And then the final book that I marked as to read in the month of December was one that I heard about on um, Emma from Drinking By My Shelf's channel. And this is one that she didn't actually enjoy. She talked about this in a video about second chance one star reviews, like books that she'd given one star that she wanted to give a second chance to. And so she didn't like it when she originally read it, but I was so intrigued by the plot that I wanted to give it a go. And the book is Pretty Is by Maggie Mitchell. So it's a thriller type novel about two girls who were kidnapped when they were, I think, 12 years old. And obviously through that experience, they became extremely close, like while they were kidnapped. And I think for several years after they are rescued. And it's decades later and they are no longer close and something comes up. I think there's a movie or something that has a plot that is similar to what happened to them and it's all about just them rediscovering what happened to them and their relationship and why they're no longer close with each other anymore, things like that. I don't really know. It just sounds very, very intriguing. Like I said, Emma didn't actually enjoy it when she read it, but I'm very intrigued by that plot. So those are all of the books that I marked as to read in the months of November and December. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, if you've got any thoughts or any books that you've been hearing about lately that you want to recommend to me or yeah just in general if you've got recommendations for me I'd love to hear them because you guys know that I love to mark books as to read on Goodreads. So please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. That is all I have for this video today. Bye guys!